Hello everybody, this is Stringing the Back for more Hogwarts Legacy. Ooh, I have a feeling this is going to be an exciting episode because we're finally, probably, going to learn the Killing Curse. We're finally going to frickin' a lock of our cadaver. <laughs> so let's not dilly-dally and let's talk to our man Sebastian Ominous. Has gone too far. You saw what lies in the catacomb. I cannot stay here. Wait, Anne, please. Ominous. He was willing to put the whole hamlet and himself in danger on the chance that some old relic could help to heal me. I'm sorry, Ominous. Make sure he's all right, will you? I'm glad you're here. Uh-oh. All right, what's going on? I received your owl. Where's Sebastian? Inside the catacomb. Frankly, I was surprised you weren't with him. Ominous, I... Stop. You swore you wouldn't let Sebastian take this one step further. Yet here we are. Dude, he's gonna do what he wants to do, whether we like it or not. He won't listen to reason. I should have stopped him before. Sebastian's in real trouble now. I'm going are we back gonna have to the to fight catacomb him? to find him. Anne's right. He and the entire hamlet are in danger. The place is crawling with inferior. Oh, good inferior? to know. What are you talking about? You'll see. We need to hurry. Uh, we're gonna have to fight Sebastian. Sebastian must not be in his right mind. Oh, we're jo oh you're joining me. Are we ominous? Yeah. We're the dream team. Last time we were here, this place was crawling with spiders. We're about to face worse. Let's find Sebastian quickly. Revelio. Where was Sebastian when you and Anne found him? Just ahead, in the great room. All right, come on then. Let's let's, let's do this. <laughs> I die, zombie die. That's right. They don't take any damage. Oh, hello, buddy. Doing a sneak attack, are we? Ah, you leave my man ominous alone. So Sebastian's basically started a zombie outbreak. <laughs> there weren't this many in theory before. <laughs> and there's no sign of Sebastian. Confringo. Ow. Wah, big. Anytime you want to help, Ominous. I know you're blind and all, but... Ow! So Sebastian's basically wanting to start the walk in there. Is that it? Wait, what? Are you okay, Ominous? I was so worried about Sebastian, I didn't even realise. Anne's gone to get Solomon. Oh, when she God, we're going to have to put up with that guy. She thought Sebastian was being attacked. But then he showed her the relic and said he'd learned how to use it. The carvings on the relic were in theory. And Sebastian somehow created them. Not exactly. He's controlling them. This is powerful dark magic. Creating in theory is incredibly difficult, but controlling them... As Anne and I frantically barricaded the inferior to keep them from escaping, Sebastian kept mumbling about healing Anne. When wow, Anne he really she is going, here, he's really is going far too far. Solomon threatened to go to the headmaster if he heard of Sebastian dealing with dark magic. I need to get to Hogwarts. I must get to Professor Black first. Twist the story a bit, make him think it's a family fight. I'll be back as soon as I can. See if you can talk some sense into Sebastian. Be careful. Oh, yeah, this is, re this is really bad. Oh, goody, more inferior, and i got to fight him on, on my own without my oh, man on my Oh, no, no. Boosh! Die! 
So if he if he's controlling the inferior, why is he why are we fighting them? Why is he stopping us from getting him? Getting to him? Like something's not right. Wait, is that him up there? Well, it's safe to say we found Sebastian. Now we just gotta get to him. So that means we're probably going to have to fight Sebastian and Solomon's going to get involved, which means we might have to fight him too, because we all know how unhinged that guy is. There's Sebastian. Wait, what's he doing? What is this, like a ritual? Revelia. Isn't this incredible? Does this look incredible to you? What's up, dude? You're a tall fella, aren't you? <laughs> look at him looking at me. He's like looking at me. He's, I want to kill you. <laughs> How are we doing today, Mr. Inferi? You looking pretty good there? What about you? Eh, yeah, you've seen better days. Alright, Sunshine, what have you done? Sebastian! I told you, the relic is the answer. I've been trying to reverse the dark magic that injured Anne, but this will allow me to control it. Just as I can control the Inferi. Control? I had to fight Inferi all the way. <laughs> oh. Well, what look who it is. You done? Well, technically, and I haven't done anything. Oh, he's gonna destroy it, isn't he? The relic. Oh, you moron! What did you do that for? Yeah, now look, you're done. You got us all killed now, You're'll Solomon. Yeah, that relic is maybe naughty, but it, it was keeping the inferior at bay. <laughs> he puffed his chest up. I, I didn't do anything. It's all Sebastian. Ugh, gonna have to fight Solomon. Look, look, dude. I didn't do anything. Chew on that. I was trying to stop this, but no, you have to interfere. Die! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ow! Right. No, oh, damn it. I want to use it on him. I can't, I can't, I can't use Unforgivables against him. I mean, yeah, he's kind of a jerk, but... Yeah, just do stop. I'm a traitor! Stop it! Jeez. Right, you're going to have some of that. Oh, we freaking one-shot him! <laughs> that was easy. Some aura you are. <laughs> but one stop. shot him. I won't let her suffer. No, don't do it. Oh, yo. Well, I like that loser, Victor Rookwood. At least you actually hit him with a Vada Kedavra. Everyone else so far has missed. Ow. Oh, look who it is. He had it come in. He's trying to kill me. I didn't do anything. I was trying to talk him out of it. But no. Big bad Uncle Solomon had to get involved, didn't he? Lucky I didn't know the killing curse myself. No! You've made your choice. Oh dear. I think he's just, I think he just lost his sister. I mean, come on, man. Like, what uh, good is saving uh, her if you lose yourself, you know? 
What have you done? What do you mean, what has she done? What have you done? Freaking killed your uncle, dude. I must get out of here. Oh yeah, that's it. Run away from your problems. I can't let him leave. Well, that took a sudden turn for the worst. Ugh. Poor, poor Solomon. Like, I, I didn't wait. want to kill him. I didn't want to fight him. But he's given us no choice. Like, we could have talked about it. We could have talked him. We could have talked him down. See, I was expecting to actually fight Sebastian and be like, yeah, okay, this is enough is enough. He's going too far. But his intentions are good, but he's just going about it all wrong. Stop, Sebastian. I mean, Hold on. What's the point in saving Anne if you lose yourself, you know? Yeah, you might succeed. Yes, this relic might be the answer, but other people are getting hurt. It's not it's not it's not a game now. Other people are actually getting hurt because of his actions. So yeah, it's not very good. What do you mean, what is it? Well, let's talk to Mr. Why Sunshine. You stop? I was calling after you. And won't survive this. She's withering away, inside and out. Solomon's never been there for well, us. Well, grieving for her uncle really. ain't gonna help, is it? He gave up on her. I'll never I mean, give yeah, up on he her. kind of did give you up on her. And he was kind of a jerk, you? but still. He was going to, to kill ruin him. her life. He attacked us. I, I had to use the killing curse. You know I did. If I hadn't known how to cast it. Well, here's the thing with a killing curse. It's like. A gun isn't, if you think about it, it's like guns, you know, it's, it depends on who, in whose hands is it. So, I think everyone he should know it. did attack us. You had no choice. It was brave, Sebastian. You clearly <laughs> care more about Anne than your uncle ever did. I knew you'd understand. I mean, he does care, but I did he's just going right about thing. it all wrong. You did. I would have done the same. Damn right I would have. I knew how. I, I mean, I basically did with the ancient you. magic. Ooh, yes, please. <laughs> teach me. the present. The killing curse won't be easy to master. <laughs> As with all unforgivables, you have to mean it. Oh, I'll mean it, all right. All right, here Hold we go. Hold your one steady. Focus. The incantation is Avada Kedavra. Your intention must be clear. All right, here we go. Ooh. Ooh, I like the fact that it's in the shape of, like, the lightning scar that Harry has. That's pretty, that's a cool touch. And we have finally unlocked the killing curse. Took us long enough. I can't stay here. I need to find Ominous. Sebastian. Yeah, he ain't gonna Please, agree with I'm you. I'm not myself right now. Let's meet later at the Undercroft. All right? Yep, fair enough. Hey, we did it. Oh, we almost leveled up. See ya, Sebi. Well, that was a dark way to start this episode. Right. We gotta meet Sebastian at the Undercross. She's devastated. She just buried your uncle alone. I did it for her. Sebastian, Anne can't bear the thought of turning you in, but... What? Turn me in? She saw what happened. No, she I'll didn't. She just saw him think, dead. <laughs> Okay, guess guess Tell we gotta talk in. to Sebastian. All right, buddy. Sebastian, did you hear that? You saw what happened. I never wanted to hurt my uncle. Hurt him? You bloody killed him! Someone. How did things go so wrong? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to. You, you oh, freaking man. dead? Because you the unforgivable curse don't work unless you mean them. So you meant now. it. I need to mean more than ever. You understand. You can talk to Ominous. Make him understand. Mm. He listens to you. I need to be with Anne. Oh, this is a tough one, because... Like... No, you kind of want him to face the consequences of what he's done. But at the end, at the end of all this, the one person who loses is Anne. Because she just buried her uncle alone. And now she could lose her brother. 
So Anne is the real loser here. Oh, and she got a curse to live with as well. I'll talk to Ominous. Don't worry, Sebastian. I shall speak with Ominous. Thank you. You're a good friend. Truly. Hey, no simping for me. <laughs> I'm no too good looking for you. From here. I'm glad we met. I'm like, yeah, no, I'm glad we met. You know, I, I can't oh, turn Sebastian. him in. I can't turn him in, man, because he's, he, he's done loads of nice things for me. I think in a moment of weakness, he just... Yeah. All right, Ominous. Ominous. What a mess. I can't believe it. After I last saw you, I went straight to Hogwarts. Before I had time to talk to Black, I heard from Anne. I rushed to Feldcroft and found her with Solomon's body. She was beside herself with grief. Part of her wants Sebastian to face the consequences, another part can't bear the thought of it. I don't want to lose Sebastian, but I don't think we have a choice. Oh, we get to decide whether to turn him in. Oh, it's... The fact is, we turn him in. He'll go to Azkaban. And Azkaban does some really... You know, you, you don't, you don't, you're not the same person in Azkaban. You know, you, it changes you. And I feel like, even though he did go too far with the killing curse, <laughs> says the guy who spent the last week or so spamming it on goblins and dark wizards. I <laughs> uh, can't turn him in, man. Just can't do it. You know, I think he, I think he will learn the error of his ways. I just, uh, I can't turn him in. We I'm do sorry. have a choice. What good will it do to turn him in now? He clearly regrets everything. He's not going to do anything like this again. You know, he's We've not both malicious. heard that before. But we also need to think about Anne. She's lost her health. Now she's lost her uncle. Do you really want to take her brother away from her too? I, I understand what you're saying. Perhaps you're right. As much as I believe that Sebastian should pay for his actions, we'd oh, only be five minutes of Crucio. As well. That's enough. <laughs> I hope we're doing the right thing. I'll talk to Anne. If it comes from me, she'll agree with this decision. Thank you, Ominous. You're a good friend. Yeah, you're a cool dude, Ominous. Even though you're Whatever like a gaunt, ahead, we must pretty cool dude. Face it together. Nice to know that not That's all Slytherins are scumbags. Uh, you and Sebastian, you're like the nicer Slytherins. Wait, was that it? Well, that was a very interesting start. Right, next quest now. Somebody help! I've been kidnapped! Oh, but you're right there. All right, let's talk to him. Sir, are you all right? You seem to be in some distress. All right? Do I look all right? I've been kidnapped! You look fine to me. How can you be kidnapped when you're right here? Exactly. What question is that? Of course I'm right here. I've more than one frame. Do you only Fair have enough. one home? Yes. It's my other frame. It's been stolen. And by students, no less. They paid filthy fees to steal my other frame. I doubt that. Did that really happen, or are you simply being overdramatic? <laughs> of course it happened. I heard it straight from the horse's mouth. Oh, she is a rather horse-faced girl that's a story of cricket. She and her friends uh, were moaning who? about me of all the nerve. Wait, his last name is Pratt. I had a plot to enlist a gang of good-for-nothings to have me stolen from the three broomsticks. That's why my other frame hung. Hovel and place. Though I suppose one could do worse. I once knew a portrait who ended up in the hog's head. No one's heard from him since. Right. So, back to your frame. Ah, yes. There I was, powdering my wig, and the next thing I knew, I was being manhandled by rogues and carried off. As if oh, I could afford not thing. to be at my post. I do important work for the headmaster, and yeah, I need my other friend guy? back at the three broomsticks. Okay, what do you do for well, the headmaster then? you do important work for the headmaster? Let's just say I overhear quite a bit in Serona's fine establishment, and the headmaster likes to know all about it. Oh, so you He's basically spy like a snitch. Reminds me of my prefect days. No surprise you're a prefect. Just who 
is Astoria Cricket, and what would she want with your frame? She's a fourth-year troublemaker. Ooh, that's a fourth year, eh? She and her band of hoodlums discuss all sorts of misdeeds <laughs> right under my nose. I forget that there's other years in this school. Them. Only seem to run into fifth years, shoot. like me. They took my frame in some misguided attempt to punish me for doing my job. Your job sucks. I don't suppose you have any idea where your stolen frame was taken. Can you see anything from it? I most certainly can. They brought me to a ruin of all places. Some crumbling atrocity surrounded by water from the sound of it. Oh, I do also recall seeing the coast on the way. Well, let's um, I could look into the put this poor you. sap out of his misery. Oh, you? How marvellous. Do it quickly, though, won't you? The place hey, took hey, me to I'll do it at my own pace, me. thank you very much. Off you go, then. Hey, you be nice to me. Yeah. Right, gotta go to the broomsticks. Alright, sun, sun, sunshine, what have you done? Astoria Cricket? That depends. Am I in trouble? Ferdinand Pratt thinks you should be. Says you stole his frame. I wouldn't call it stolen. Relocated's more like it. How do I put this nice? Where'd you put it? Ferdinand Pratt is a postulant boil. And he's lucky I didn't have him sealed in a wall. Oh, he's not that bad. Surely he can't be that terrible. Maybe okay. a Pratt, but come All on. He's not bad. spy on students in here and report back to the headmaster. Sometimes, Ugh. if there's nothing to report, he'll make it up. Okay, I that is pretty four bad. I hours in detention last week, all because he told Black that I was planning to drain the lake, whatever that means. Dude, that's It was the up. last straw. He and his frame had to go. May I ask where you put him? Okay, well, I kind of can't blame her now. The frame is likely with the fine gents I paid to snatch it. They camp in a ruin by the coast. Okey I just dokey. wanted it far enough away that I'd never have to think about Ferdinand Pratt ever again. Well, you, you know he's screaming in the library as we speak. Oh, for the love of Merlin. If you ask me, he's got nothing to scream about. I could have had him put in the hogshead. The pampered Pratt would have hated it. Grimy walls, smell hmm. of goats. Hogshead, you say? Patrons, they eat snooty princes like Ferdinand for dinner. But what's done is done. He isn't here anymore. And if I were you, I should enjoy it. Huh. What if we could put him in the Lovely hog's head instead? Oh wow, that's quite the distance. Oh, it's an inferior. Die! Die, zombies, die! Oh, you wanna fight me? Flippendo! Ah, no! Alright, chew on this! <laughs> oh! Oh yeah! Oh no! There's more of them. Well, there, Goblin Helm. Oh yeah. Boosh! <laughs> and boosh! Ow! Fight me! You can't hold out forever. Oh yeah! Boosh! Disarm my. Disarm my what? <laughs> his head is in the wall. That was an interesting fight. Yeah, sorry about the lag at the start. I don't know what happened there. Oh, show, oh, stop it. Oh, he, he is kind of, Okay, I'm kind of with. What's her name? He, he, is, he is kind of pampered. Expect nothing less from a prefect. Oh, 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 we're down here. Uh, maybe not. Okay, so where is he then? Hmm. Well, it says he's got to go this way, so... I'm just following... Oh, oh, yeah, I've gone completely the wrong way. I demand to be moved to a prominent location. So he's under there, so we need to just get down Rebellion. we got to find a way down. Oh, hang on, this is another dude here. Where'd he go? Oh, it's one of these things. Killing it won't really do me anything, but I'll do it anyway. Ready, set. Potato. 
Potato! Oh, there he is. There's Mr. Sunshine. Hello, Amora. Well, it's about time. It's a wonder there's anything left of me. Oh, quit your complaining, you dope. Calm down. I'm here now. Calm down. Those buffoons outside have been talking about burning me. Me! Burning you? If they weren't all sharing half a brain, they'd realize I'm worth more to them intact and at the three broomsticks. How is that? With everything I overhear, I'm a veritable trove of information. I mean, that is a fair point. There. Oh, I need to be back by cocktail hour. The place will be like a funeral without me. L uh. Ooh. What if I don't want to return you to the three broomsticks? What I kind of don't want to do take him to the three broomsticks. I could take him to the hog's head. I could burn him. Um. Uh. Burning him's a bit extreme, but. No, I kind of. Wouldn't that kill him? Okay, we'll take him to the what hog's head. What if I head. took you to the hog's head instead? I've heard such nice things. Huh, what a funny little joke. Now, the three broomsticks, please. Oh, they're bound to be missing me terribly. Uh, be sure Probably to not. Me carefully, won't you? My pantaloons are already creased. Oh my god, he is a prefect. Where Ugh. did he put me? It's pitch black in here. I shan't stand for this. Oh, quit your whining. Well, you're gonna have to put up with it then, aren't you? Otherwise, I'll just burn you. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. No, it won't. We killed everybody. Remember? Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Um, let's not. Although, there is something down there that I want to kill. Oh, hang on. Is that a person? <laughs> Death from above. Where'd he go? Hello? Ooh, hang on. I'll check your pockets after you're dead. Oh, will you now? I'm sure it's a... What was that? <laughs> oh, oh, there's another one. Uh oh. I see you. More than I bargained for. Chicken. You will not survive this. I think you'll find I will survive. Hardly felt it. Oh, he's doing that fire thing. Yeah, chew on that. Is that it now? Right, on to the hog's head, because that's where we're putting this guy. Because Sod put him in the free broomsticks, he don't deserve such luxury. Not after the stuff I heard about him. Right, into the hog's head you go. Is this really the place for that? Yep. Oh, we put in my ear, do we? I must protest. This is no place for polite company. Not for the horrors you keep in here. <laughs> well, don't worry. You won't be staying in here long. Right, I got you a gift, dude. I got you a picture. What is the meaning of this? This isn't the three broomsticks. Nope. No, it's not. It's the hog's head. Did you fall into a cauldron of stupid potion? You have brought me to the wrong place. Absolutely vile in here. I know, it's terrible, it's isn't it? no three broomsticks, that's for certain. Please, you can't mean to leave me here. Please. Well, you kind of deserve Ferdinand. that. Bye, Ferdinand. Enjoy your new home. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Bye. Oi, I normally toss the both of you out. But I like the look of the fancy man. Target practice. Ooh, game of darts, eh? Please. You can't use me as target practice anymore. Well, they can kind of do what they want, dude. Bye. Ooh, we got a shelf. Oh, we almost leveled up. We haven't leveled up yet. Right, we are going to end this session here. And in the next session, we are going to do the final trial of the Keepers and see where that leads us. Until then, ta-ta.